Well, welcome back to Pondering the Pond. Um, we're up here at the Vernal Pool again, um, and I'm hoping that today we're able to find some spotted salamander eggs that we can get a closer look at. I've seen some groups floating in the water here, um, but I don't want to remove them from the pond, so I'm hoping we can get a close look without hurting the eggs. Um, you never want to collect eggs when you're out looking at a pond or a pool unless someone tells you it's okay because the eggs, if they're detached from the attachment site they have to either a stick or a log or something else, then they have a much lower chance of hatching. So we're going to see if we can get close to some without actually hurting them. Um, and we'll talk about how we know they're spotted salamander eggs. Okay, so right here at the edge of our vernal pool, we've got a great example of a pretty far along grown up spotted salamander egg sac. Um, so we can tell these are spotted salamander eggs. First, let's talk about actually how we can tell they're salamander eggs at all and not frog eggs. Um, the main thing to look for if you're thinking about frog eggs versus salamander eggs is the way they're laid. So frog eggs, you can really tell the individual eggs within the little egg clump. They don't really have a thick gel around the outside. Each of the eggs will individually swell up and become kind of gooey. Maybe you've seen a chia seed kind of swell up in water. That's also what happens to the frog eggs once they're laid. But these salamander eggs have another layer of thick gel-like substance all around the outside of the big gooey clump of eggs. Um, so when you look at them, you can also tell, now we're getting into kind of why they're spotted salamander eggs. So spotted salamander eggs particularly are often more milky and cloudy in color than other eggs. So you can tell that these spotted salamander eggs are not clear through. And you can also see a kind of tint of green so these spotted salamander eggs grow algae inside the eggs, which actually provide the little tiny salamanders with oxygen. Okay, friends, we got really lucky here. Uh, these salamander eggs, without me even touching them, actually had some eggs that were falling away from the pack, which means that they are unlikely to hatch. Um, they're pretty far along, so maybe they still will, but... The fact that they're already detached means that we can carefully remove them from the water and observe them a little closer to give you all a chance to see what the individual eggs look like. So as you can see, they're pretty neat and round, unlike the big gloopy globs. You can kind of tell a little bit more what I'm talking about when I mean that the gooeyness around it because there's just these little circular eggs and then they're surrounded by the jelly-like goo. Um, you can also tell as we're looking up close, you can see that really green tint. Um, and if you look really closely, which I'm not sure how clear we can get on camera, but you can see their small gills forming. Um, so you can see in each of the different bubbles the shape of the little tiny baby salamander. And you can see little tiny gills coming off of their heads. So the one on the far right, for instance, is facing to the left, so facing towards me over here. Um, and that one, you can see the gills coming off of its head on the far left. Um, so you can take a peek and get kind of, let's see, we're not going to be able to get closer, unfortunately. But this is a really cool opportunity to see these salamander eggs super up close. Um, so yeah, this is a really exciting thing to find, and maybe we'll see if we find any more eggs next week.